Hello and welcome to episode 39. How are we? Good. I'm all right. Someone's cheated today. That'll be, that'll be because lots of people have signed up for our fantasy football league, so make sure if you haven't, get it done. Yeah, I'm going to so try I'm... and whip the spell off my face when I come first. Right, right. Yes, no chance. Details, if I can be bothered, will be on the screen maybe. If not, they'll be in the description or on our social media channels. They're, on, they're already on the socials, so do that. Don't be lazy. What will I play for? Yes. Ah, that's, that's all that's all well and good until someone else wins and you're like, oh, I'm not giving it to anyone else. No, it's, a birthday, it's my birthday present for my 21st. Are you posting no. that? You can pay for postage. We well, should have done that in advance. It's coming this way. We get it on carrier sheep if that does come true. <laughs> I'll send in a train. It will so, yeah. arrive. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Or a few weeks later that. If it's transport for Wales anyway. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So we are back once again and we are going to talk a wee bit about the World Cup first of all. What's going on right now? Greg, I'll let you lead that bit. Yeah, so Women's World Cup's going on just now um, in Australia and New Zealand, which is not the most convenient for us located in the UK. For those fans kind of in England and in Ireland um, and other parts of the world, like Central Europe, it's not it's not an easy tournament to follow. Um, time difference is, what, between 9 and 12 hours, mm. which is, yeah. you know, really difficult. The um, same as in Brazil as well for the... They were silly times. They were silly, but they, they weren't as bad. No, they weren't as extreme. They weren't as extreme as this. Like, I can only imagine what 2002 World Cup kind of South Korea and Japan was like. Yeah. In terms of this. Like, it's not a fun way to support your team. But um, England have topped their group with a maximum nine points. Kind of questions about their form going into the tournament. They obviously got beat by Australia going into the tournament. Was it Australia? He says was it Australia. They played Australia at some point. Um, uh, but they've won all three games. The first two are very underwhelming. Um, today against China, not so underwhelming. I should say we're yeah. recording this on Tuesday. 6-1. Yeah. There's been shouts that, uh, there's been shouts that uh, Lauren James is better than Rhys James. I don't rate Rhys James that much, so it's not yeah. hard. Yeah. But uh, yeah, convincing win, I'd say. Maybe that's the, the the one they needed to get the confidence back up and get going. I mean, they, well, I say that, they won three games, but that one was a lot more convincing. Yeah, and that, that's been the argument, hasn't it? That England, after winning the Euros, just really haven't been convincing at all. Yeah, that was my next point, actually. Yeah, winning the Euros, uh, psyched them off a bit, but at least they've, they've topped the group. Nothing. High hopes. Being European champions, yes. Well, it should be really if they're not, then there's something wrong with them. Um, and the team that um they lost to, uh, sorry, the team that lost to them in the Euro final, Germany, they also have a chance of going through. Though they got beat by Colombia, so they're probably going to go through in second place. Um, the first goal in that game uh, was an absolute stunner. It's a lovely oh. finish in the top corner if you've not seen it. Good feet work. Footwork, sorry, just to get it set up and then it dinks it round. It's lovely. Exactly. And there's there's kind of a lot of debutants in this World Cup as well. Um, it's Ireland's first World Cup. Um, and they will sadly be going home. They've got one point, which um, I think they'll be quite sad, saddened by. Could have done a wee bit better um, in a group with Australia and Canada, um, who are pretty decent, uh, and Nigeria, who I didn't really know what to expect. And they've not. You know, they've still got a chance of going through. But they have gone through. Yeah. They have gone through. They, they played three games. Five points. Yeah, just they just combined. Unbeaten as well. Sorry, just unbeaten as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Unbeaten. Other unbeaten team, uh, Japan, who, for some reason, like people always remember um, the US and like England and other countries uh, when it comes to the Women's World Cup. For some reason, um, the team that I associate with um, the Women's World Cup is Japan. Um, 
because the, the last kind of the first time I really ever watched women's football was the 2011 Women's World Cup. And that is what I remember. I remember watching the final, which went to extra time, and I remember watching the penalties, and America lost that final. I think it was yes. 2015 when in the final, somebody scored for that halfway line. I can't remember yeah, that was Morgan. I thought it was, I was just saying Megan Rapino or Abby Wambach, one of them two. Like the two pilots. I, I, I remember watching that, yeah. I thought it was Morgan, but it might not have been. I remember the highlights in the news. But yeah. Well, talking of America, actually, um, talking of America, um, it cost me some money. Um, I, after watching the last Women's World Cup, uh, and seeing there was some absolute cricket scores and hearing that there was a lot more teams who'd never played in the World Cup before. I thought US versus Vietnam, who'd never played in the World Cup before, Women's World Cup before, uh, let's, you know, let's dump some money on them to score a hat full of goals, and they just didn't. See, they only scored four goals. They have. Just isn't very good for being probably the favourites, yeah. one, of, one of the favourites. Yeah. I think the bar's so high because of how they've played so well in the past. and the, But they've still got the job done at the end of the day. They're still going through. There's, even though if it is second, then it gives them a harder draw in the next round. Yeah. Well, I don't know whether... I can't remember how the draw works, whether it's, it goes into Group F or if it works the same as the men's. But that could mean they play France, um, who play Panama and are likely to win that group on seven points. The other team in that kind of France group is Brazil, who have Marta, winner of many women's football awards, um, who says she's not ready to go home after a poor start uh, and a defeat to France. Um, they have scored five goals, but they need to beat Jamaica in order to go through. Jamaica, who of course got that draw with France uh, last week. All to play for in Group F, you could say. Yeah, that'd be an interesting like, final match, match day. Um, the other thing, of course, in this Women's World Cup is the VAR improvements. For anyone on Spotify, there was an air quote there. Um, they've done the same as what they're done, doing on the Under-20s World Cup, so now the referee will be mic'd up when they return from the VAR screen to announce their decision. And I've watched that, and it makes absolutely no difference because all they do is go, the player was offside, no goal. And you go, well, I knew that because the screen's just told me that. I wish they, I wish they would go right. It's offside. Way. <laughs> um, well, yeah. Apologies for any listeners that have just deafened in the process of that, but I had to get the mic for dramatic effect. I, I feel that we could still be doing this a lot better. We still could be like they're all broadcast on television. Just broadcast the discussion because other like leagues and I'm sure the Rams World Cup like it, it's all. Like it happens and you have access to it. So just let us hear the actual discussion. This should be made yeah. up from start to end. So everybody can hear what's going on. The rugby referees have made up. They are. Um for better or for worse. It makes um, it easier to know what's going on. It does make it easier to know what's going on, exactly. Um but to go back to the main discussion, can England win it, Kyle? Uh I don't see why not. They've had a good group stage effort, so yeah, no reason why they can't. I would say. Robert? I think so. Yeah, I, I think, think it, if America get their get themselves into gear, maybe they'll come out flying in the in knockout stages. But I think England have a very good chance. I mean, if, yeah. if Brazil don't go through, then that that opens the playing field up even more. Because, like you said, I've always known Brazil has been one of the High flyers in the women's football. Yeah, so. They have Marta. What more do you want? It's her last World Cup. Um, oh, I'm well, not well, sure. Well. Um, US, kind of Portugal frustrated them a bit in the middle of the park. Um, England have been a bit underwhelming. Maybe this result will kickstart them on. I don't know. We'll have to see when it comes. I'm sure yeah. we'll discuss it. Definitely. We'll go into more depth and hopefully we'll get the chance to watch a bit more of it just with awkward times and work schedules you know what it's yes. like with no, so groups coming up, no groups coming up soon so yeah. exactly there'll be fewer games at less extreme times more reason, reasonable 
Yes. Let's hope so. Let's hope so. Us Brits, anyway. But yeah, down below, let us know what you think of the World Cup so far. Just, I'm just looking up the outright favourites currently. It's England and USA who are two favourites joint. It's seven to two. So the three to one. Yeah. Yeah. That's not bad. England would go down in history if they won the Euros and then the World Cup. They would. They would go down with know. some famous men's teams like Spain in 2008, 2010. And 12. Yeah. They've already chopped, 12. The, chopped the men's team by, you know, the men's team couldn't quite get there in the final, whereas they were quite convincing. Kathleen, women's football like tends to be a bit more, you know, from maybe not that level, but having, you know, knowing people who've taken their kids to women's football and stuff, it's much more positive and there's a better vibe about it, apparently. Um, you know, Def- it's not... definitely on the rise. Well, I'm it's getting, I think it's starting to get the credit that it should be getting, but it should be getting a lot more than it is. So, I guess, oh, labels, I guess bad labels, but it's probably better than the men's. I mean, that may be a debate for another day, but, but you know what I mean, like, <laughs> I know it doesn't deserve the bad rap it gets. Is what I mean, and... no, that's that, that's a Twitter clip. We can put that one up and include <laughs> some debate in the comments. No, nah, there's pros and cons. There's pros and cons, but there is. Right. Yeah, mm-hmm. so we'll definitely come back to talk about some of the groups, to, uh, knockout stages. But yeah, because most of the groups are finished. So uh, this weekend is the start of the Scottish leagues, and we are going to have a little discussion about them. Uh, I will be at Palmerston on Saturday to watch Queen of the South versus Alloa. I'm looking forward to it. Um, I'm in London town, so I'll be there. Yeah, I was going to say Kel's not there. I, I'm going. I'm going to the rugby. I'm going to watch Wales versus England, so I won't be there. Oh, I bet it's in the England end. Ooh. It's rugby. There's no end. Ooh. I know that's what I was meaning. So that that's a joke. Something Actually, like after the recent form Wales have had, God knows what's going to happen. Anyway, I'm this not, is the podcast. I'm not letting Kel say that rugby's better than football. But I'll make him put his mouth soon after. No, uh, for, for cricket. Well, Scotland have qualified the cricket for this year as well. Scotland have been doing well in the cricket. They have. Um, maybe maybe our friend might get his five minute uh, cricket section in this podcast now. After all, Scottish League Two. Yes. Who who is going to be the team that wins it? Just uh, for the folk who aren't too clued up, who's in that league? Do I go? I'll run through it quickly, right? If you want. <laughs> well, I might as well. Right. In for alphabetical me. order. Bonnie Rig Rose, Clyde, Dumbarton, East Fife, Elgin City, Forfar, Peter Heat, Spartans, Stenhouse Muir, and Stranraer. Notably, Spartans making their debut in the, the Football League. I'm getting six points in the League Cup, which is five more than their comrade Peter Heat did. <laughs> <laughs> Rest in peace, Peter Heat. <laughs> right, um. I, hope, I think Spartans could do well. They're well back. They've, it's taken a bit of time to get up finally, but now they've done it. Yeah, you know I mean? and you know, after Bonnie Rick, not really, you know, they were fighting towards the bottom at the end of last season. Um, Spartans have a chance. Yeah, they, um, they had a good uh, cup run, so they're certainly well, well within the rights to be up there. Um, I think Forfar will be up there. Yeah, um, I think, Ray McKinnon is a very good manager, especially for that level. Might he left um, to go with Forest Green, but then just didn't. Yes, because they sat Duncan Ferguson. I, was, I mean, that, that was a bit of a fried moment. It was. Um, I think Forth will be up there. I think Dumbarton are too good to be in that league. I guess well, Dumbarton, Dumbarton was the team I was going to say. I think will go up. Maybe Clyde. I think they'll finish number one. I think it will uh, be Forth. I'm making the barn for going up. Did no, you did you say Clyde Kyle? Clyde who notably lost every single League Cup game, including to Highland League Breakin City. That's a what you call motivation to be like, right, we're better than this. Let's get our off season gear and go. Fair enough. Uh who who is going to end up in that? <laughs> it's spot also at the mo- bottom? It's also some motivation for Kyle to do his research for next week. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh say that again, Greg, sorry. Who's gonna end up in the spot at the bottom? Uh, Peter Heed. Uh, 
I don't know. Peter Hayden. Rest in peace, Peter Hayden. You can go next to Rangers in the annals of Deed Football Clubs. I'm not biting. I can see him looking at me. I'm not getting a bite. (laughs) No, Um, not today. Not today. I'm in a good mood today for once. Elgin somehow got out of it last year. I don't know. Peter Hayden just seemed to always be bad when I look. (laughs) I don't know. That's as as, as advanced as the... Uh, analyzing is going pretty bad, so I reckon it will be maybe Bonnie Rig. I think they're maybe second season syndrome and they'll shit the bed. I mean, very possibly. Um, I think they've outstayed they're... their welcome of two yeah, seasons cl- close last yeah. season, but I think this is I think just album are just worse, which is quite hard, but yeah, I, I, I reckon Elgin might struggle, right? So it's, Queen's gonna... beat them, so. That is true. Talking of Queens, that's a great segue, Kyle, into League One. Right. Yeah, done. <laughs> Alwa, Annan, Cove, FC Edinburgh, which I now think is back to Edinburgh City, yes. if I'm correct. Falkirk, Hamilton, Kelty Hertz, Montrose, Queen of the South, and Stirling Albion. Yeah. I don't know why. Hertz sounded funny in my head. Didn't that's sound funny, funny when I said it. <laughs> no, no, nowhere near as bad as that. Uh, um, right, well, uh, it's easy who's winning this one. Queen of the South. I mean, we should. I'm tempted to say someone else so we can actually win the league. I'm tempted to say Falkirk so we can actually say, win the league. I was going to say, I think Falkirk will go first, but I think we'll be second. I've not third. said that for about the last... How many, leagues have been, how many years have been in this league? They've been stuck here for years. They have, they have. But th- there's also, you know, there's... Hamilton are a bit in a bit of a mess. Cove's Cove. other full time team, but I don't think they will do it. They'll be top know. four, but Sterling in a great league cup, they could make a push for the yeah. playoffs. Alo were always up there as well, to be fair. Yeah. Maybe I'm biased, Falk. but I'm, I'm going Queens. I think Queen's top yeah. three, but Falkirk goes should. Their time has to come eventually, surely. I think you get the finger out this season. Play. I, I don't think, from what I've seen of Queens and what I've heard of Queens, I think we need another couple through the door for us to win this league. I think we need probably another centre half. Those pros we've got Ambrose, so that's kind of dealt with that. Can we also just reflect on the fact that if Ambrose has signed for Queen of the South, what a signing. That'll be a clip as well, <laughs> when he does something wrong and then everyone turns against him. Um it goes later. You know what? When I was uh, watching him play last week, I mean, he was actually quite composed from the ball. He was probably the most confident I've ever and and I think it was just he was going for it, which I suppose is good in a sense. But yeah. at the same time, as, as, as as composed as I was, t- I'm saying he still looked like he was going to get the ball away every time. If that makes mm-hmm. sense, he's just got big lanky legs. You think he's just going to? And uh, also notably, uh, I updated the group chat saying that Effie Ambrose had been sent off. Uh, he hadn't been sent off. It was McLellan. McCuffey. Oh, well, that shows me. No, McLellan got sent off it. against Mc- Elgin. Yeah. yeah. Uh, my bad. But yes, it was McGuffey. However, it, where we were standing, it actually looked like Ambrose, just because he was the last man. Which goes on to another debate. But yeah, which, gang- which is that, which, what, 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 Let's make this clear now. It wasn't a red card. Yeah, because Ambrose was the last man. That's what confused me. Just the angle we were at. And uh, Marvin Bartley said in his post massive interview that he also thought it was Ambrose going off. Um, It wasn't a red card. The SFA, if there is an appeal, won't overturn it because the bar isn't high enough to overturn it. It exposes the fact that the officials are shocking, which is something that's came from pretty much every League Cup game we've played in this season. Someone dog's agrees. A, dog's a the, dog is, the dog is back. After high demand. It's probably better than some SFA referees. That's, that's barking mad. Thank you. Um, yeah, um, anyone who wants to put a bet on this weekend, put a bet on a red card in the Queen's game. There's been one in every single game we've played in so far this year. How do you think Aaron's going to do being first time back in League One? You think they're going down? Ten. I mean, they never had it. I, I know I've only, I've only got the League Cup to base this on, but they got beat by Albion. Mm. Well, Queen's are going to beat them every time. I know that for, for sure. That's going to be a clip for when we lose. 
Um, I was very confident going into the League Cup last season and we were beat 3-2. Exactly. I was very com- you were, we were all very confident going into the first day of the season last year and look what happened. Yeah. I was working, I didn't give a fuck. But yeah. Very, um, very fair weather, of you? That'll be another clip. You're not having a very good week. Edinburgh City. County. Uh, aye, Edinburgh. They're not up to much. Have you seen that they're letting people stand closer now? I have. The council have finally relented and not only let them change their name back, they can now stand on their running track. But you know what? They can't have back their original Twitter handle because someone's taken it off them. <laughs> <laughs> <That's fine. laughs> The bios, the bio isn't it's not a direct quote, but it's something along the lines of uh, it's their fault they changed it and they're not getting it back. They've now got an alternative Twitter handle, so I thought that was quite good. Yes. Ten pot. Other thing to say, uh, nine plastic pitches in the league this year. Sterling's that's the only me- one with grass. That's mental. I can't wait for every game in Sterling to be called off during the winter. I, c- I can't wait for every manager uh, of. Yeah, every manager, every team to blame the plastic pitch, even though every team in the league's got one. Yeah, Storm manager gonna, blaming every team. It, it is mental. Where's Robbie it, Nielsen? Uh, you're, you were saying? I'm just saying it's pretty mental how there's mm. nine plastic pitches in that league out of ten. Yeah. It's easier to maintain when you're part-time, though. It is. Well, that's the facts. It's more, it's more cost-effective, even though Queens have put a new pitch out this season, which looks excellent. I think we have already said this. Yeah. It looks a lot better. However, uh, last, time the put, last year they put a lot of last sorry, the last time they put a lot of money in got it laid, and then they had a state school concert on the last one, and it, after one season crushed it. Yes, um, so, I think the other it... thing to mention here is um, about when we're on plastic pitches. Um, I make no apologies to Twitter for the fact that sorry, I make no apologies to X for the fact that I am pro plastic pitch. So come at me, don't care. Um, right, let's get back on track. Who's who's winning the league? Did you say? I said chat. Oh, league one. No, league one. Oh. Just to clarify before we move, you said you go. You, def, you go with Falkirk. Park Queens Heath Falkirk. Yeah, I'm saying Falkirk Queens top three, but Falkirk winning it. Right, and who's going down? And uh, you're saying Annan. Annan. I think Annan will be sniffing around there. Uh, I'm going to go out there a wee bit, and I'm going to put FC Edinburgh. Kelly. Right. Scottish Championship time. I think yes. this is going to be a tasty league this year. This league's always tasty. Uh, right. <clears throat> Airdrie Onions or Broth, Air United, Dundee United, Boo, uh, Dunfermline Athletic, Greenock Morton, Inverness, Caledonian Thistle, Partick Thistle, Queen's Park and Wraith Rovers. You have three teams who won their League Cup groups. And I'm not convinced any of them are winning the league. Um, well, you had the likes of Partick should have went up last season and then they were, about, they were away. very, very, they we're not about 15 minutes away from Arsenal. Yeah. They, but I don't know. Um, you should, you look at that, and as much as I don't like them, Dundee United should be the team at the top there, let's be honest. But they're one of these yo yo teams, but they're also absolutely guff. So I had a poor start. Up. And I, yeah, poor start. And yeah, so I actually think. Uh, I'll really sadly, Partick Thistle for me. Kyle. That's where I'm, I'm thinking of going, but really sadly, Air are going to be up there again. That's the other striker, though. That Dippo, whatever his name is. That didn't stop them winning their League Cup group. No, I didn't hear me. They got a ton of money off York for him as well. Hmm. Um, um, I'm, yeah. yeah, I'm thinking yeah, Partick or Inverness, I think, could be a dark horse. Scottish Cup yeah, final last year. That's a shout. Only won one League Cup game. Need to start strongly. Yeah. Lost to Dumbarton and Airdrie. I'm going to do another wild one. I think Wraith will be up there. Wraith done all right. Like this was the thing. Any, I reckon you could make a case for a lot of these teams. Like Dunfermline won the league last season. Momentum behind them. A lot of them have been for a few years to. We can't, we can't see every team's going to win the league because we've, we've named about seven at this point. That's fine. I don't think Morton are. Morton are going to finish like seventh and have a really unremarkable season. They, it happens. Good. Yeah. Um, I think Partick, I'm going Dark Horse, Inverness. I'm just saying uh, Partick. On the other hand, um, our both seem to be in a bit of a stinky form at the minute. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, it's not great, but Dick Campbell will pull it out somehow. Dick will pull it out somehow. <laughs> pull, it, pull it his dick. Um, that was horrendous. Um, I I don't think Wraith are going to be up to much. I think they could be down the bottom. I I I'm not convinced by your dream. I know they've just come up. That's again again the thing. You could look at all ten of these teams and you could go. They could finish anywhere. You know when they're group in the league cup, Airdrie. No, I thought they did big a big right. proportion. I'm going. Our, I'm going. Our both yeah, they down. did. You're right. They won all four games. Okay. I think our both are going down. I think they've out. They've, they've their blocks run out. Is what I was going to say. Do you know what? The more the more I sit and stare at this, the more I go. Could Morton be right down the bottom? Probably not, but you never know. Yeah. I think our both because they're part time still. I think that's the only thing that would keep them. Where's their closest food time? Yeah. Queen's Park got a ton of money, got beat by Queen's. We've not mentioned them. They're like the only team we've not mentioned. I think. Could do. I don't. One of these things are kind of like they were doing, look how well they were doing last season. Then... Transition to a new manager. Really? Yeah, and then Coyle's gone. Yeah. And this new guy, whoever he is, some Dutch boy. Yeah, some guy from Belgium somewhere. Don't I don't think it's Dutch. a lot of money. In I thought we managed there. in Belgium, but... They deserve to get relegated for what they've done to that, to lesser hand than millions, and it looks absolutely horrendous. Can you imagine if they got promoted? They'd have to play in Big Hamden. There's no alternative. Uh, Hamden senior. Yeah, it's right. Premiership. Right, Aberdeen, Celtic, Dundee, Hearts, Hibernian, Kilmarnock, Livingston, Motherwell... Rangers, Ross County, St Johnston, St Mary Bay Green Dot. We weren't doing that joke anymore. I didn't care. I've done it anyway. I just leave. Um. Well, this top is going from fifty-five to fifty-six. Rangers are going to win. Danilo, forty goals this season. I think you're wrong. Really? <laughs> Thirty-nine I mean... assists. Surely, surely Celtic are favourites to run away with us. I mean, imagine so, but that's not what I'm saying. I think Rangers as well. New, they've got a new manager and new players. He, he's a new manager who's won how many titles with them before? But he's been away for a few years. Yes, he's doing bigger be, and better things. Getting relegated to Leicester. I he's mean, getting bigger be and better out. things. He's going to be outed for the fraud that he is. They just lost Jota, who's their best player. Oh, no, know. but it's okay because they're getting uh, they're getting Van de Beek and McTominay on loan. Uh, they're getting Jota back on loan because uh, that team's. <laughs> Remind me which team's been linked with Billy Gilmore for half of living history. Celtic. No, yeah, I, I know the answer to this one, but as as a bit not as extreme really, considering his Rangers background and the fact he wasn't getting Chelsea game time. Considering the fact that Van de Beek, McTominay's are a favourite Man United, then Van de Beek was proven pish at both Man United and Everton. Bit of a, jump, bit of a weird jump, though. A Donny yeah. Van de Beek redemption arc isn't completely out of the picture. It's more than money that he was, he's on at Man United. He was on at Man United. He's but again, if he wants his redemption arc, if he wants to sit and just earn money, fair enough. If he wants his redemption arc, why no? Well, maybe email him and ask for next week. Right, Ask if you can uh, come on. Guest the podcast. Um, in terms of going down, uh, Johnston. Yeah, Start or Livingston. With or Livingston. It's like don't want it. I don't want it, but you know what? Yeah, you know what? I'll be. I'll be Dundee. Dundee go down. Dundee need to go up, and it's they just jump like it's like a bloody trampoline. So it usually goes. Usually one of them two are always. Or. or Dundee United don't go up and Dundee stay up. No, that would be ideal. Bring back the Dundee Derby. Um, Aye, in the Championship. Best of the uh, rest. Hmm? Hibernian, oh, who do you think? No, Hibernian notable, uh, terrible result the other night, losing their first uh, Conference League qualifier 2 1. Yes, shout out to. Hibs, even a Welsh team managed to draw with an Andorran team. You didn't. Um, 
Did you just spend uh, 700k on some striker? Some that. Dutch. Yeah. Van de Veen region. No, because this one hasn't done absolutely terribly for Scunthorpe for ages. Um, who else? I don't mm. even know who else. There's not a ton, is there? Nah. To be honest, the Championship looks more exciting than the Premiership this year. It does. Oh. It'll be the usual where the matches between every team that isn't Rangers and Celtic are really good and really competitive. Mm. Yeah. And Sky will continue to show Rangers away to Livingston, which I don't want to watch. I want to watch the good games at the bottom. Well, beggars can't be choosers. Right, well, I'm I'm sticking with Rangers to win. Um, no, Celtic. Right, and then I think um, Livingston are going to go down. St Johnston. On the. There we go. Interesting. So yeah. My right question down. had a big question written down, which Greg's in the dark now. His lights have went yeah. off. <laughs> uh, I, had I need to keep this which... page up. It's got a white background. Most entertaining league, definitely championship. So right, we're going to move on. We are bringing back an old classic, an old favourite, so to speak. Um, a few weeks ago, a few episodes ago, me and Greg uh, had our, our our transfer game tussle, and it ended on a bit of an inconsistent ending. So we're gonna have a rematch. This is the, yeah. the second the second fight. Could it go to a trilogy fight? We can have that at Palmerston. Punch up. <laughs> right, well, I wrote down I wrote down Robert time. versus Robert versus Greg to the rematch. Lovely. I can't write anything down. You won't let me write anything down. Just integrity. Can we write anything down? No. I asked. I'm gonna make this more exciting. I want an answer for every question. So none of us don't know, just hit me with names. That's fine. If I don't know, I'll say F.A. Ambrose repeatedly. Well, my second just... Ryan Kent is my go to answer. Yeah. Which just... is going to be a bit repetitive, so I don't think we should do that. He's not on this. So... Where is he? Um, these players are all still playing as well. And we're only, to clarify, we're only doing five this time five, to yes. save on some time and make it more, more dramatic. Five players are all still playing. Are we ready? Yes. I'm somehow bloody, but yes. Right, so, first one. 6.5 million in 2020. Born about Effie switch. Ambrose. No. I didn't hear what you said, Greg. Born about a switch. Wait, wait, wait. No. I don't know. I'm keep going. We said Effie Ambrose, so let them slide. <laughs> um, six point five million in twenty twenty. He's a goalkeeper. Um, twenty twenty. No. That was my guess in the last one. Uh, well, you said you said I had to provide an answer. So where's Fodrin? Even though I know it's not right. No. So six point five million twenty twenty goalkeeper French. 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 Mm. French, yes, he is French from France. We oui. um French goalkeeper. Where is struggling here, Robert? Six point five million. There's only one I can think of. No. He was so confident with that. <laughs> I was, I don't A know name came that. to me in the darkness. I can't think of any other French goalkeeper. Could so, you in the darkness? I'm going with Larice. It is not. I didn't think it was. <laughs> 6.5 million in 2020. He's a goalkeeper who's French. He came from FC Lorient. Is it Lafon? Lafon? No. Alban Lafon? No. Right, I, I, I don't know if you could hear me. You went a bit blurry and I said no, it a few I, times. My Wi-Fi died, sorry. Right, I said Alban uh, Lafon, but I don't think he played for Lorient. No. He may have done. Have, I genuinely have no guess. He definitely did play for Lorient at one stage, I'm sure. Do you want a guess? F.A. Ambrose. He's not a goalkeeper, but goal. <laughs> he, he, he done the gloves for one season. That's not French. Uh, this is for one point. 6.5 million in 2020. Goalkeeper, who's French? From Lorient to Leeds. Ila Melia. Melia. Yes, that's uh, great. Thank you. Uh, thank you, people. 
I, was gonna I, know, I know there's a few that are screaming, that are going to watch this over, are going to be screaming down the phone. I didn't think he was so. that cheap. I didn't think he was that cheap, and I didn't realise it was L'Oreal. Even though, it, young, though. Yeah, even though if it's a free. French player, there's a good chance he came from L'Oreal. Because they have the Youth Academy. And I thought he cost way more. I thought he cost mm. like double that. Well, nowadays. Yeah, next up. Right, go for it. It was... He was a free transfer in 2021. If Ambrose. Ambrose. No. Uh, free in 2021. He's a defender. Uh, <laughs> uh, wait. Free transfer in 2021. Balogun. No. Which, uh, I don't know. Uh, I generally have no idea. Two, I was going to say Toure, but I think that he was a wee bit before that. It was not too Reno. So a free in 2021 defender from Brazil. Thiago Silva. Negative. Have a Louise? Yes. Oh, yes! Three points. From We've Arsenal. done Thiago Silva before. From Arsenal to Flam- uh, Flamengo. Oh. That was, I did actually think Louise and then he shouted Silva quite confidently. I always, I always doubt myself. I was actually close, but I thought I better not give any, give any hints. Yeah, no, no hints. Well done, Robert. Yeah. Three, two, yeah. Thank you. 2-1. Two, 2-1, one. Two, one, sorry. Oh, no, no, same thing. 3-2, 2-1. Three, two, two, three, one. Three, one. Oh, sorry, you're, you're right. Yeah. Give us an extra point. <laughs> yeah, you're going, yeah, one, yeah, and I've given us an extra one. point. Listen, I'm about to take him part. Uh, 470k oh. in 2022. Effie Ambrose? No. Um... Lawrence Shanklin? Five points. Oh! Christ. That's insane, man. I admit, um, oh, that's, the, I think that's the best one we've had so far, I'm not going to lie. That was a good one, I didn't think you'd I thought I'd have to go to the end of that one. Um, nah, I'm puzzled with that. No. I don't well, care, I can lose it now, don't care. I think uh, there's a clear winner so far, but... Never know. Nah, don't start, don't start that. 25 million in 2014. They're all current players, by the way. I don't know if I said that. They're all still he did, players. He did, he did, he did. He said they're all still playing. Don't know why I said Toure then. I forgot about that. Um, Twenty-five million. I can't think. Twenty-fourteen. William. No. Matic. No. Uh, Twenty. Twenty-five million. Twenty-fourteen midfielder. Amos Rodriguez, even though he's more expensive than that. He was not. Uh, Fielder. Shut the fuck up. Fernandinho. No. Uh, so 25 million, 2014. Midfielder, who is German. Tony Cross? Three points. What did you say? I didn't hear what you said. Tony Cross. Ah, uh, Tony Cross. Those guys, potato, potato. Cruise. Cruise. <laughs> um, current scores are 11 to 1. today, Robert, yeah. So, uh, yeah. How many more we got to go? One, Just one left. One. Oh, right. so, Who made the decision to cut this for 10 players to 5? <laughs> unless you want, you. Me, unless you want <laughs> me to get a double or nothing. No, no, <laughs> no. I want you to add his two ones together. Huh? All right. <laughs> and then make it two, two one. That'll do. I'll, do, I'll do this anyway just because it's the fifth one if you want. Oh, yeah, I might get two in the pants. Then. It was a three in 2022. F.A. Ambrose? No. I generally thought it was going to be F.A. Ambrose there. I uh, assumed he was going to do it at some point. <laughs> he is not on uh, this list. Oh, thank God for that. Uh, it was made before he joined. Repeat that, sorry. Three in 2022. Uh. Not sure. I, I can't even think of anyone. He's an attacker. Sorry, free 2022 20, attacker. Uh, free 2022. 20, 20, 20. Ashley Sakalas? No. Uh, 2022 20, was last summer. That's why I went to Sakala. He's an attacker. He joined in a free in 2022. 
Clock is ticking. Nah, I'm, I'm gonna have to rush you. <laughs> move on. I'm happy to take don't know now because this game's over. Uh, three twenty two attacker from Scotland. Yes, that's where this was going. Um, it's the free bit that's getting me. Yeah, yeah. A, lot of, a lot of free transfers these days it makes it hard. Uh, Ali Roy. He's not Scottish. I made that mistake a few weeks ago. Northern Irish. Uh, I don't know. Same Connor time. Shields. We've already had him, though. There won't be. Not Connor Shields, no. He Three was... 2022 attackers. Scotland from used to play for Livingston. I was going to say Dykes, but... Oh, sorry, he came from Livingston to this team. Dykes, but they paid money for him, so it wasn't. Not Dykes. No, I can't think of him. No. Well, for one point, three twenty twenty two attacker Scotland uh, left Livingston to join Queens. That Queen of the South. Like... Why Caesar? How are we having such a problem with this? I can't, uh, to be fair, I erased last season out of my head. I mean, so that Gavin I... Riley. Gavin Riley. One point, yes. Christ. Is that where he was? Jesus. He was at Morton on loan last season, but he was technically at Livingston. Ah. I'm going to blame that on the fact that I'm located in Wales. I'm, I'm going to blame this whole cause on that. Well, it was a convincing 12-1 win, so... Well done, Robert. Thank you. That was my most convincing... That makes up for the four points in last week's leaders. <laughs> that collapse is worse than Dumbarton's last season. After me winning the first point. That collapse is worse than Dumbarton's last season. Well, I'll take that. Well, thank you. Mm. Have a new game um, soon. Yeah, yes, be... get the category game back. I'm good at that one. <laughs> it's your, it's well, your choice. You also you can pick. It is, so it will be. Okay, well, we'll bring the category game back. Teaser for that next week. That's victory to me then. Ooh. Some dogs to chomp. Now your bottle of crashes, all right. Ro- Robert's on a winning streak now. Talking of winning okay, streaks, here's one Robert's not on. Predictions. On you go, Robert. Right. Um, I chose the predictions uh, this week because they are bad. I, fin- I finished last last season. However, because we started the podcast in halfway through the season, we, it was a bit of a strange time to start it. No, no, it's wise, a so. full championship. It doesn't matter. It's a full championship, and I'll be having it. I never said you were in. I'm just saying it's, it's an even playing field this year, the whole season. It was even right. last season. We all picked the same games. I don't know why I'm getting all the grief today. <laughs> I'm just, I was just making conversation. Right. I'm going to be horrible now. <laughs> right, let me get the games up. Um, uh, yes, I can talk them through if you want. Right. Well, I thought, I, was, I thought, I'll, I'll do it if you want. You do it. You do it. Your prediction. Go role. on. I have the traditional yeah. prediction role because I have the spreadsheet open in front of me. And um, this year we have condensed it down. We're only going to do six fixtures each week instead of tens. So we're going to do one from each of the four Scottish leagues and then two wild cards. Um, so the first game is St Johnston versus Hearts. 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 Oh, well, that's easy. That's three Hearts wins. So it does have a crap league cup. I think that's probably going to, have it, going to be how it stays. Scottish Championship, the game we've gone for is Morton versus Air United. I've already said Air will have a good season, so I think they will win this one. Mm, I'm not so sure. Air, yeah, they join you now. Yeah, I don't think Morton are up too much. I'm going to Air as well. Air as well. So, so far, no one's winning the predictions this year because we've all picked the same things. So, League One, uh, Sterling Albion versus Edinburgh City. Sterling's uh, first game after winning the league last season, after the Barton collapse, much like me five minutes ago, against Edinburgh City, who Robert has tipped to go down. I I think the form will continue, and Sterling Albion will win the first game of the season for their season. So do I. They had a good league cup. Draw. Draw for Kyle. Sort of. Um, different. League two, we have Spartans' first game in the SPFL. They play Clyde at home. Clyde had a shocking league cup as I pointed out to Kyle earlier. So I am going to go for a home one for Spartans on the SPFL debut. I think so too. However, I was going to put draw, but just because of how stinky Clyde were in the in the League Cup group stage, I'm going to go with Spartans as well. So draw. 
because Clyde will have a point to prove. Yes, uh, two mile cards are both in England this time round. So we've got a game in the Championship, which is Watford versus QPR. We might have a look at the English leagues at some point. Uh, I'm backing QPR to go down this year. Um, so I think it will be a Watford win. I think this one's going to be a draw. I'm going to say the Elton John boys are going to win. Watford for you. Uh, and the other game in League One at Carlisle after their promotion in the League Two playoff final play Fleetwood at Brunton Park. Um, I think momentum is going to be with Carlisle as well and I'm going to back Carlisle United. I think Carlisle are going to do it. I think it's going to be a draw. Uh, that is the end of predictions for this week. We'll let you know how we get on next week and we will post our we leaderboard on the socials. Yes, that's in the making. It's nearly finished, so we're going to keep that updated. So, yeah, please join in with us. Uh, this will be on Friday, so you've got time to comment in the comments section if you think we're wrong prior to the fixtures on Saturday the 5th, which is match week one. Uh, but, yeah, thank you very much for listening. Uh, give us a subscribe. We've had, quite a few, we had a, a wee surge in followers on Twitter, which was good, so we want more. Greg's ringing Bring the, the notification, notification bell. bell. But yeah, thank you very much for watching this episode 39. Can't believe we're nearly already at 40. It's mental. So yeah, thank you very much for listening. Or to join the FPL. Oh yeah, yes, join the FPL. Again. Join the FPL, but yeah, see you next week. Godspeed. Ta-da.